Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with Alien Skin Software. This video is, is a tutorial with Australian commercial fashion photographer, Robert Copa. He'll show us his editing workflow using exposure. Robert, how you doing? Hey, Jimmy, how are you? I'm doing well. That's awesome. How about you take us through a typical editing workflow using exposure? Okay, sure. Here's one of the image from an editorial that I shot. I want to run through it and just prep this image for the rest of the other images that I'll be doing. So when I look at this, the first thing that I notice is that uh, she looks great. Uh, however, it's not the colors, especially in the hair, are not as vivid as when I captured it. My first step would be to try a preset that gets it a little bit closer Typically what I would do is go into uh, Audition. I'm going to use a factory preset of two strip Technicolor. And that definitely brought back the red. She looks great. However, I'm not really happy with the background. It's quite dark uh, and I've lost a lot of saturation. But what I'm thinking is that I might be able to bring that background in another preset. So what I'm going to do is I know that I've created my own preset from another editorial that I shot that has a few greens and yellows in it. So if I select this one and I just ignore her because she's not looking that great, but the background is looking quite good. So I think I'm going to use that as well. Um, and let me just try another one, maybe this one and yeah, no, this one, both the background and her are no good. So let me start with applying this preset. Along with the preset, we get a good dosage of grain. So what I'm going to do is remove that or bring it back considerably, just leave a tiny bit in there. Um, I'm also going to just tweak a few things from this preset as well. Um, she is a little bit hot, so I'm going to bring the highlights down a tiny bit, right about there. Increase the temperature to about there. That looks good. Uh, and I'm just going to kick in some clarity just to give it a tiny bit of a punch. So I think. As far as I'm concerned, she's looking right there. I'm going to add a layer, then I'm going to go down to my preset again, and I'm going to add that. Right away, I can see the background is looking a lot better, but she's blown out, she's looking very yellow. So what I intend to do now is mask her from the background. Now, rather than you guys watching me paint, what I've done is I've pre prepped a mask. I will copy that mask. Come back a virtual to virtual copy of this image. Initially, absolutely. I forgot to mention that. Uh, and I'll paste the mask. And so as you can see from the mask itself, it's a little bit over the place. It doesn't need to be that precise, but the overall image already looks a lot, lot better because I know my own preset, that would have quite a bit of grain. So I'm going to bring back the grain again, because I will add it at the end as part of my finalized layer. So I'll bring it down to about there. Okay, great. The image is almost done. The only thing I want to do is maybe do some um, dodge and burning uh, on the image. I'm going to add a layer, dodge. And as you can see, it's really lit up the whole image. But what I'm going to do, again, to save time, is to go back to my virtual copy, copy the mask from there, and paste it. And there are some very subtle changes in the hair and the highlight on her eyes. Okay. Now, what I'll do is add another layer, and this time, We'll make it burn. Copy the mask and paste. Again, very subtle, but if I turn it on and off, you might be able to see a little bit of change on her forehead. 
and just mm -hmm. a little bit more contouring around her face as well as darkening some, some of the denim to bring out some of the colors there. Um, at this stage, all I need to do is add my final layer. So in my final layer, what I will do is, I feel like I need to warm up the image a little bit more. Let me just move this up, warm it up just a tad to about there. I'm going to add a little bit more green for the background. I'm gonna increase vibrance. And to about there, I'm liking globally how the image looks, yeah. but I will take this opportunity to do some tweaking with the colors. Um, the oranges, I'm going to decrease slightly. You know, I know that I've added warmth and now I'm removing some of the oranges, but I guess this is the great thing about being able to tweak the image right. to, to what you like. So it's definitely a great plus. Now I'm going to work on the denim and just make it, I just make it pop a little bit more by adding some blues and cyan's. Going to the curve, just finish up on my toning. I'll tweak the blues just a tiny bit and then go back to RGB and just bring out some of those shadows. That's about right there. Okay, two more steps and we're done. Uh, I'm going to add some grain, of course. My go-to grain is to select regular grain, 25%, and then just tweak how that is applied to the image. Love the grain in, uh, in exposure. Is this a specific recipe that you do here? For the grain? Mm -hmm. This is my starting point, And then depending on what the image is, I'll tweak it but I don't want my shadows where usually grain or noise comes through quite well to be as much as in the highlight because I feel the grain in the highlights give it that filmic look so that it doesn't look too digital. Thanks for explaining. Then just the last thing I want to do is just add um, some vignetting. With vignetting, what I like to do is just go crazy on it, make it small. This is where all the goodness is. And then I'll just bring it back and just enough to draw the eye to it. And that's about it. That's the whole process. So if we look at the before and then the after, yeah. it's actually very quick. Looks great. So you'll edit an image like this and then you'll take all the edits that you make to this image and you'll, you'll add those to all of the images in the editorial so they all have a consistent feel? Yeah, the same kind of consist consistent look and feel. Obviously, I'll have to tweak each of the, um, of the mask because the subject may be in, in different places, but it's still very fast because I have a consistent look and feel across the whole spread of the editorial. And really, it's just being able to paint on or off uh, by doing the masking on on the subject. Awesome. Thanks, Robert. I appreciate that you took us through your editing workflow and exposure. It was inspiring to watch and learn from how you work. For those watching that haven't used exposure before, head over to alienskin.com and download the free trial.